Hi everybody, this is Artis Harold, and I would like to invite you to explore the universe with Rubin Observatory. A bit about uh, me, I was a classroom teacher for 38 years in Michigan. I taught high school science and a little bit of college. My passion is the earth and space sciences. I now work for Rubin Observatory as their education specialist, and my job is to design classroom activities for you to use that will make use of the telescope's data in your classrooms. The Vera C. Rubin Observatory is now under construction in Chile. It will have an 8 meter class telescope in it and it's scheduled to begin operations late in 2022. This telescope will also have the world's biggest camera as part of its full features. This camera will image the universe in six different colors, ranging from ultraviolet to infrared wavelengths. In the first week of operations, we will have collected more data than ever was collected by Hubble. Every three to four nights, we will take images of the entire sky, about a thousand images a night, and we will do that for 10 years in a row. Not only will this change the game for astronomers, but we will make that data available to you. We are right now designing a set of investigations that can be used in your classroom with only a modern browser and access to the internet. Here's an example of what we have on tap. We've been writing these and now we're coding them and you'll have a chance very soon to try them out if that's something you'd like to do. Each of our investigations comes as an online web application, but it also comes with other materials for support, like an extensive teacher guide, assessment materials, NGSS materials, and a website with other support. Here are a few excerpts of our support materials. This is a section of our teacher guide. One of the interesting parts of our teacher guide is we include for each investigation common student ideas, along with bridges to help them understand, and common student questions. Here's an example, our Coloring the Universe pretest. Each one of these investigations has a test that's about 10 to 12 questions long. Last, for those of you who are teaching with NGSS standards, we unpack the three-dimensional learning in each lesson, showing how we address science and engineering practices, the standards and the cross-cutting concepts as this particular lesson evolves. Along with that, we have a summative assessment task. Here's the end of our Milky Way summative assessment task. And following the assessment, we have a very detailed student scoring guide with a rubric to help you assess how well the students are doing along their continuum of learning. In our supernova investigation, students have been previously taught how to identify supernovae that are exploding in other galaxies by viewing a series of images over different nights. Once they locate the supernova, they click on it. And from there, they go to another page where they see a plot of all of the observations of the magnitudes of the supernova that were taken, a light curve. They've been previously taught that you can identify the type of supernova by the type of light curve shape that it has. And so the next part of this investigation, they decide what kind of supernova they think they have based on the light curves. And once they decide that, let's say this one is a type 1A, they can move and resize the light curve to make it fit the data. In this plot, what we're seeing are the colored dots represent some galaxies the students have been working on to construct a Hubble plot. You can see at this point, we're looking at the Hubble plot from our view in the universe, the Milky Way at the origin. But what would happen if we went to a different place in the universe? Would Hubble's law still work? Let's see. Let's try different galaxies. As we go to a different galaxy, you can see that the dots rearrange their position and we see that that galaxy is now at the origin. As we change through the galaxies, you can see that, in fact, 
the slope of the graph stays the same, and Hubble's law works everywhere in the universe. Yay! On the right is a 3D viewer showing the spatial positions of these galaxies. Here's a timeline of where we are in development. Just this month, we have begun user testing and will continue that through the end of the fall. Next year, our plan is to, after revisions, move to pilot testing in classrooms. And the next year, we'll begin our professional development. With our goal of having these investigations classroom ready by the year 2023. If you are interested in doing any user testing of any of these investigations, please contact me. You see my address is on the screen. Right now we have three investigations ready for testing, one on Hubble's Law, one on supernovae, and one on the structure and evolution of the universe. Later this spring we will have new investigations ready with the goal of having them most ready for user testing by mid-summer. We are especially interested if you teach a diverse audience of students, whether that's racial or cultural, ethnic diversity, or special ed students, gifted students, or ESL learners. Please mention that in your email when you write. Thank you for listening.